Well, we're disappointed, uh, uh, you know, in the outcome because that was a game in which either team probably could have won multiple times, and, and uh, you know, we had ourselves in a really good position uh, midway through the second half, and then, and then things got away from us, and they made some big plays. But, but uh, you know, it's it's a learning experience. I don't know that a game, win or lose, on November fifth is going to count much in March. But still, yeah, there's a lot of things that we can learn from this game and hopefully improve. Coach, on that last possession, or one of the last possessions when David turned the ball under underneath, uh, you, you were pushing your guys. You want them to attack there? Yeah, I, I, I did. And, and uh, you know, don't put that on him. I thought he had a shot yeah. and, and, and uh, had a little three or four footer there and tried to make an extra pass, which, which isn't the percentage play uh, uh, without question. But, but uh, you know, David did a good job tonight. He, he rebounded the ball well. And that's a hard guard for him. Man, he did an admirable job for the most part of guarding Matt, and, and he's really a nice player. Uh, but yeah, it, that, 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 the, the, the late game deal, that, that's on me more than kids. And we got to figure out how we can stretch the floor with two bigs in the game because certainly that wasn't effective tonight very much at all. Coach, 28 turnovers tonight, you just kind of chalk that up to their defense or just being this early in the season, you guys still working on some You know, games. we, we uh, uh, Duke's defense is better than the exhibition games we played. We turned it over four times uh, uh, last game. Uh, I think like 11 the game before that. So yeah, it, we, we, I, I think we played uncharacteristic. I think we got out of character. I, I think we made easy plays difficult uh, uh, many times. And, and certainly, uh, I think a lot of that's the nerves and, and, and you know, Guys want to do well so bad, uh, but we'll, we'll we'll take better care of the ball moving forward. Uh, but, but certainly, uh, uh, you know that's inexcusable to turn the ball. And, and coach, to follow up on that, with that many turnovers, is it still encouraging that you know two point basketball game right there down yeah, at the end? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I guess you, I guess if you're uh, Tony Robbins, you can look at it that way. Uh, <laughs> You know, but, but from a realistic standpoint, I mean, they're going to be really good and they're young and they're finding themselves too. And, and uh, uh, I, I do believe that we can learn about them. So we, we, we've lost in this, this thing uh, five times and been a one or two seed every time we've lost it. So, so, I mean, it's very, I believe that's true. So, so that we're, we're, we're capable of, of uh, rebounding from it. But it, it, there, I, I don't want to ever say there's, there's good losses because it remains to be seen if something good comes from this. But I, I hope our, I hope we have the mindset that something can come from Yeah, and I'll get you too. Uh, for players and Bill, did you guys feel like the floor kind of shrunk as the game moved along with how they were, were guarding and, and uh, just kind of how do you combat that? Well, I'll speak to it. Uh, uh, I think the floor definitely shrunk from the first uh, opening tip. You know, they, 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 they they didn't have to guard the bigs away from the basket. And our bigs really didn't do a good job. Nor did our guards do a very good job early on as far as moving the ball and getting open and making the defense go from strong to weak back to strong and, and those sorts of things. So, so there's some things, you know, our only offense, and I remember when we played Kentucky one year when they had the year they won it, and we ended up beating them in the finals. Our only offense was just Tyshawn get the ball, Tyshawn drive it downhill. And that was basically kind of what we resorted to tonight with Vaughn and Marcus. Right in the middle of the so what does Doak have to do to deal with the double teams better? Well, you know what, we've actually practiced it quite a bit, uh, Mike, and I, 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 I was disappointed because he, he can make a, he made a, some single coverage as double team by being slow with the, with the move. Uh, I mean, you catch it and you shoot it, you know, there's no double team, but catch it and bounce it and think, and, and then that allowed them to, to track down. So they, they did a nice job on that. Uh, but, but, you know, the thing about it is, five seconds on the shot clock, you can't catch it and wait and dribble and then decide you want to pass it. I mean, and, and we had two possessions like that late. So he'll get better at that, you know. And, uh, uh, not don't want to make excuses, but I think he and Silvio both were, were uh, it, it was a little bit different uh, for them than, than, than probably what they would have been uh, if they had been playing last year. I, I felt like, you know, both are basically both had the year off and, and I, I thought that, that, that it felt a little different for them out there than it will move forward. As for the players, what are your emotions after losing a close game like this to a team like Duke's opening season? Uh, 
you know, a lot of us, you know, we're feeling down. Um, but, you know, right now, we got to learn from this, like Coach said, uh, keep our heads up because, um, you know, it's a long season. Uh, a lot of things happen, so. Yeah, that's a learning experience. Um, you know, I'm credit to them. Um, you know, they came out and, um, you know, stuck to the game plan, but uh, this is a learning experience, and uh, I'm going to try to get better. Scott, Coach, could you just speak to the defensive performance of Marcus Garrett? It seems like he made a few plays not only on guards, but also their bigs, too. I thought, I thought Marcus was, you know, David rebounded the ball, but other than that, Marcus was our best performer today. I thought he played both games well and drove him down the hill. He had five assists also. You know, he's our best defender, regardless of, uh, of position. So, so uh, yeah, Marcus, Marcus played well. He'd be the first to tell you he didn't do quite enough, you know, because that's what winners should think about it, but, but uh, uh, I thought he I thought he did some nice things. Did you like the matchup with him on her? Well, it didn't happen a ton. It, it happened when we were small there, uh, uh, primarily in the first half, but, but I, 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 yeah, I thought he did fine. Um, that, that's a better matchup with Marcus Gardner than David, uh, but, but uh, you know, we didn't have uh, we didn't have a lot of depth on the perimeter. Oh, Chad, during your run in the second half there, they got that nine-point lead. But Turnovers were non-existent. What was different during that stretch for you guys? Uh, I would just say, you know, we were more aggressive uh, defensively, uh, getting after them, speeding them up, how they are you know, speeding us up. Uh, so I think, you know, that's something we can really focus in on moving forward. And that moves you on. How do you think the team did both offensively and defensively in the transition? Um... I mean, there were some, you know, some good moments in transition. Um, you know, also there were some, you know, moments where we didn't uh, perform well in that stage of the game. Um, but so, just gonna look at film and, and um, really just see what what we can improve on, and um, that, that's that's what we're focused on. I, I actually thought you didn't ask me. I actually thought there was multiple times in transition we didn't pitch ahead. You know, if you pitch ahead, you go make a layup or put pressure on people. We we basically guarded ourselves by 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 the ball sticking some today in transition. We can we can we can get better at that though. Okay, last two here and then here. Uh, Coach, uh, speak to Tristan's performance. I know his first game for you all um, as a Jayhawk at, at this stage at this level at the MS. I thought he was great the first half. Second half, he, he kind of casual, but but I thought he was great the first half, and and uh, you know he's going to be a really good player. You know, he can, he can, you know, he made a shot uh, a three and then made a driving layup when, when we needed it. But he, he's, a, he's a talented kid that will just get better with time, just needs to keep getting stronger and being a little bit more aggressive. I think that his minutes will go way up. How will, how will Isaiah help you guys? How, how would he maybe influence what you're able to do? Well, he can, you know, if we, if we play four guards, I mean, you, you've got a guy out there that's, I mean, he's a, Mike, you've seen him a ton. He's a legitimate college shooter. I mean, he's a 40% three-point shooter for three years at Iowa. And you know, he, he's only been healthy one day since we started practicing. So I'm, I'm hopeful that, that, uh, that another week or so, whatever, that, that we can actually see him. He could have played tonight, but I, I thought it would be, would be worth the risk, though.